fucking Lord's turn is such a little hunter. When I was a kid, I used to have a problem making my hamburgers too big. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at that. Behold. Well, it's prettier for me than it is for you. I'm sorry about that. thinking about this for 10 minutes waiting for the camera to power up so I could tell you. Have you ever swatted a mosquito on your lap and then held it up by the wing and said to all the other mosquitoes, this my friends is what happens to the unluckiest of the luckiest mosquitoes. completely seriously said that completely serious I just am fuck don't guys excuse me we're sitting inside a roasting hot van right now because the mosquitoes have overtaken our world Nora does not like to wear bug spray I love to wear bug spray but it's just not working and they're in here too the few that made it through the door with me, so I will have to do some mosquito killing. That's what all these marks are on the roof from previous battles with the mosquito tribe. Um, yeah, I'm hanging out in Yellowstone, in the woods, in a van, all by myself. Sometimes I think that I'm just going a little insane just because I'm... I'm Acting it up, you know, just because I can. I'm all alone on the road. But then sometimes I wonder, how crazy could you really go all by yourself for a long, long time? Probably pretty crazy. I, uh, like putting horse food away tonight. Forgot to put the lid on. Lid on. You probably, I probably don't talk very good anymore. I probably slur all my words and run everything together because... It's all in my mind. I don't. The mouth is pointless communication, just for my ears to hear something tonage-wise. That's putting Nora's uh, dog food bowl away, and uh, lost my train of thought. That's what "and" means. I lost my train of thought. 
Alright, let's we'll try one more time. I was putting Nora's dog food bowl away. I forgot to put the lid on it. So out loud I say to myself, Jordan, how about we put a lid on the dog food bowl? Okay. I don't know who said okay and I don't know who asked the question, but it both went out loud and then a lid was put on the dog food bowl. So. Oh, how embarrassing. Not really. Really just trying to fill camera time right now. I shouldn't have filmed today. I'm going to take a day off one of these days. The danger that is Jordan. Laura brought that stick from all the way on the other side of the river. All the way on the other side of a fishing hole. I just got snagged over there on that little rock. On a little stick and I was about to break my line and then I figured out let Nora give it a shot. I threw a rock over here I said go get that stick. She goes down here, she crosses the current, crosses the current, comes up creek. And she just picks up the stick just enough and off comes my snag and reel it back in. She's a six dollar dog today, that was a six dollar lure. I think that stick's gonna sink though. Nope. But, do you think this would be a great spot to catch some fish? But no, I just lost a six dollar lure. My one big accomplishment of the day. Nora's disappointed in me. I'm disappointed in me. And uh, now I gotta call my friend in the helicopter to come pick me up. Cause I don't wanna climb back over the rocks. Yeah. Mellow day here in Yellowstone. It's been an hour driving around only to end up parking 50 yards from where I camped last night, maybe 100 yards from where I camped last night. So yeah, an hour driving around, bought a $6 lure and ended up coming back 100 yards, within 100 yards of the spot I parked last night. Lost a six dollar lure. So, I better go shut myself up in the car and call it a night. Do the bugs, don't mind the bug spray. Little bastards. gonna camp here for the night and it would be an awfully nice spot with an awfully nice view but I got to hang out here all day and I met someone down in my old campsite that's got beer friendly fellow so I'm gonna go hang out with him drink some beer with some company there's some mean canines over here to my right so Laura will be happier because she made friends with the guy's dog back at the other site one more day in the mountains. Wouldn't you know it? 
I spent all day driving around looking for campsites and I told you I was going to park down there 100 yards away from where I had parked last night. Well, guess what? I am parked in the exact same spot I was parked in last night. I had no intention of coming back here, but I met the fellow that owns this cooler here and has collected this stack of wood, which is pretty impressive. And I, I invited myself over to park with him. Become quite the friendly road traveler lately. Trying to stop being that lone man on the road and uh, get out there and enjoy some people on the road. You know, there's always good people on the road. So right back, same view, same spot. It's really weird because it's the first time I've ever pulled into one of the spots that I left in the morning. I get to see what my trail and what it looks like after I leave. And I don't really leave that much of a mess. I leave onion peels lying around and tracks, wheelchair tracks everywhere. People probably are always curious about the wheelchair tracks. Anyways, I'm parked here for the night and I uh, wish you could be here with me because there's no way to describe the beauty of this place through the lens of a camera. Just gotta come see it for yourself. I don't know where it is exactly. It's outside of Yellowstone. That, oh, I know how to tell you. I know what to tell you. That right there, Pilot Peak. I am camping on the east side of Pilot Peak. Along this river. The Fork River, maybe? I don't know. Stop saying things you don't know, Jordan. Only speak of what you are sure. I'm sure I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go cook some potatoes. See ya. I love to have a chase at that. <laughs> 